Mr. King. Uh, yes, you can just call me King. Yes, thank you very much. We wanted to ask you some questions. Is it true, since you have been at KOTV somewhat longer than the Moose, as you refer to Bill Pitcott? Yes, the Moose, the Moose. Uh, we gave him that name uh, because he is, after all, a Moose. Large as a moose, you see. Yes. Is it true that uh, you taught Mr. Pitcock everything he knows? Absolutely, indeed. When he came early on to KOTV, he was just a lad, a pup. A pup, you might call him, yes. A pup. Knew nothing, knew nothing. Didn't know what to do, didn't know how to handle him himself. So, of course, I took him under my wing, or paw as it is, and taught him the smooth style to which you have become accustomed to seeing. You remember that, right? Yes, yes. Smooth style. Very smooth, yes. And, uh, of course, uh, later on when he became very wealthy, I did advise him on how to get his estate in order and what to invest in, such as plastics. I suggested plastics, yes. Plastics? Yes, yes. Plastic spoons, as a matter of fact. That went down. That didn't work too well. Then I uh, suggested fertilizer. He did uh, dabble in that somewhat. That didn't work out either. You might call him, with the financial advice I gave him, the Van Gogh of financiers. How is that, sir? Well, Van Gogh, you know, lost his ear, while Mr. Pitcock... Yes, I understand. Uh, I, yes. In any case, there were great moments at, uh, of course, my cue and endeavors to help him along in showbiz and news biz. I recall one particular incident when there was a disease running rampant in the world. And this is the way that I instructed Mr. Pitcock in his smooth style to present that story. The Center for Disease Control said today 650 cases of a new strain of flu have appeared at the Lackland Air Force Base in Texas and also at the Lowry Air Force Base in Colorado. The virus called A-Texas apparently is an offspring of the A-King Kong, King Kong, Hong Kong flu <laughs> that first appeared in this country in 1968. A spokesman at the Center for Disease Control. <laughs> uh, the State Retirement Fund in trouble <laughs> coming up next. <laughs>